Well, fans, Premier Boxing Champions presents a middleweight attraction. Introducing to you our three judges scoring the action from ringside. We have Eddie Hernandez Sr., Alejandro Rochin, and Zachary Young. All right, fans, here we go. Six rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with black trim, hailing from Boston, Massachusetts. He weighed in at 160 and one half pounds. His record is two wins, three losses. One win coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the gifted one, Maceo Crowder. And his opponent across the ring in this six-round middleweight attraction. He is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, silver and red trim, fighting out of Woodland Hills, California, by way of Labinsk, Russia. His weight, 160 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of four wins, no losses. One win coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Peter Kemakov. And the referee in charge now to give instructions. We have Rudy Barragan. You guys already got your instructions, okay? Do me a favor, protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands at all times. You got six rounds for you both, okay? Good luck to you both. All right, let's go to the tail of the tape. And once again, we've uh, seen this script before, and this is a common one in this sport. Guy in his mid to late 30s against an unbeaten guy in his prime. In this case, Kamakov is 4-0. and He's 28 years old, so he's getting up there. But again, he is coming in at middleweight, so is Maceo Crowder. Maceo Crowder, 37 years of age. But as we just learned, gentlemen, like Oscar Escondón came in as the opponent. And Escondón got a first round KO and flipped the script. We say that a lot, Joe Goose, and a lot of times the other guy didn't get the script, didn't follow it. Right, and uh, look, that could happen. The Escondón is a different uh, animal because he basically has been at the top of the game for a long time, whereas, you know, Crowder really hasn't. Um, that being said, he's in there against uh, uh, Peter uh, uh, Kamakov, who's, who's a, a, a wily amateur veteran from uh, Russia team, and mm -hmm. very experienced in the ring. Trained at my gym for a while now with Shadid Saluki and Kamil Saduki and um, Saluki, and they're very, very good trainers. And this kid's got a lot of talent, so I, I don't see, I foresee a, an upset coming. Kabakov, in 2016 Olympian, third fight in the United States. Crowder again out of Boston, Massachusetts, to the specific Roxbury Mass. He has never been stopped in his career. It's a short career, five fights. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and again, it probably won't happen here unless uh, uh, Kamikov really puts a lot of punches together because he only has one knockout in his four fights, his four wins. He is on the field. But again, matchmaking is, a, is an art and a skill. And for a guy like Kamikov, you want to get him just the right amount of a challenge. Not too much, not too little. In the meantime, that was a nice straight left hand thrown by Crowder right to the belly there. So, and he's tall. It's gonna, he's gonna, you know, for a four-round fight, he could pose a lot of problems uh, for Kamikov because of uh, the, the the short time he's got in the ring here. He might be able to just box and pile up a few points. That was good. That was right on the there. belt. But uh, this may be a distance fight. Another good jab to the body. Kamikov going to the body quite well. Landed a right hand. This one's scheduled for six, by the way, as we've uh, moved up and a good shot with the left hand. Kamikov showing some good power in there. He's backing Crowder up against the ropes, which is with his power punch. Just his jab alone is pushing him back. And, um, you know, this yep. is what you have to do in the first round. Uh, and both of them don't have a sweat on them, so, you know, they can use this, this first round as a warm-up. Well, that's another part of this business, right, guys, is that, you know, you're a swing fight. They'll say, hey, you're ready to go. That's right, and yeah. you just, you got to warm up, and, and out you go. It's a good point, Lennox, yeah. that they probably got taken, not by, they weren't stunned, but it's like, oh, it's once they see that knockout in front of them, they know, hey, I'm on. Yeah. And sometimes, because you, you don't have that chance for a good warm-up, you know, you can get hit with a good punching and um, get stunned by that. I don't know how these guys do. It, when you were in the swing fight again. Oh, oh and down he goes. <laughs> As I said, good right hand. Good right hand over the top. Five. Six, by Kamikov. 
seven. See, Kamikov has uh, had a lot Nine. of amateur fights. He's just now Locked working his way into the pro style and learning Locked more power. And he's getting that from uh, Salu okay. the Saluki Let's family. Go. And uh, he, he looks Stop much stronger here in this fight. Right at the bell, he takes a short hook, and Crowder will have a chance to try to clear his head. Knocked down in the first round. A lot of power from Kamikov. We'll take a look as we go to break. Big right hand over the top. Back now for round number two. And here you see Kamikov coming over with an overhand right. Devastating punch. Perfect punch right on the chin. Round number two. First time we've seen round two tonight or this afternoon. Trying to get ahead of myself. And let me throw this in. I, I might have said a four rounder. This is a six yep. rounder. It was scheduled between four and six, and they chose six. So whether we get there or not, as you yeah. pointed out earlier, we're not so sure. And I would say this too, Joe. I'm a fan of a referee. Rudy Barrigan is in there. I'm a fan of a referee saying, take a step toward me. And he didn't do that there. I mean, this fight could have been stopped. Not that we want it stopped, but you've got to look out for the fighter. I wonder if Crowder would have taken a step toward the referee. He didn't look to be that solid at that point. Yeah, and then you have to remember, too, you know, you know, first round, nobody wants to get knocked out in the first round, so he, his eyes look pretty clear, so he was okay. You thought he was all right to go? Yes. Yeah, okay. And, and mind yourself, Rudy uh, Rudy Berrigan was a former fighter, too. He knows what he's looking at, and he, he knows how to read the tea leaves when he's in the ring. A hook lands from Kamikov. He is heavy-handed. Well, referees have their own styles, too. Some guys let it go, and some guys are a little more reticent from mayhem. But uh, there's a certain protocol you can follow. You know, you're a little bit more vulnerable. You're going to, you know, you, you, as the fight goes on, you, you get used to getting hit a little bit more. So he probably gave him a little benefit of the doubt. And toward the end of the round, as you see, this is in the final seconds of round one, and his head had cleared by then, to your point. By the way, over on Fox later on tonight, Errol Spence, welterweight champion of the world, will join us live to talk about no more punching. the Let aftermath of his car accident and his plans for the future. It's the first time we've heard oh, him speak. Oh. You're going to have to box. You're going to have to box. Let's go. He's going to his eye. He got a thumb in his eye. That's what he's complaining about. And he shook his head. And Berrigan asked him if he was all right. He said no. <laughs> Wrong answer, but they let him fight. Yeah. So again, Errol Spence Jr. joining us later tonight as Kamikov presses the action. Separate, 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 separate. The boxing world uh, Box. eager to hear what Spence has to say and the possibilities of him getting back in the ring and getting in to defend his title and having some big fights after what was a very frightening car accident. Crowder needs to be doing a lot more, you know, uh, to keep keep Kamikov away. Right now, he's just sitting on the ropes, and he's not really doing no nothing offensively. He needs to get that jab going and needs to throw some power punches to get Kamikov off of him a little bit. Can't let that smaller man come in. He's very strong. See, very fundamentally sound. Final seconds of round number two here in California. Hey. He's ready to quit. Bang, yeah. bang, 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 okay? I want you to jab him here. Remember the hook we worked on? Jab, hook right hand, then go back. Uh -huh. He's ready to quit. When he grab you, step back and go under. Bang, bang, bang. Then back down, up, down, down, up. And you, hey, he's ready to quit. He's ready, he don't want to fight. But start stabbing him, hit him hard here, and then step in and hook, hook right, right hand. Hook and then you can go yeah. back. Back down to the corpus. He's ready to quit. You punch too fast or too hard. Four Keep looking. Right, right. Yes. Bang, bang, bang. For corpus, lever, there. Oh, it's, over. it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, no, no, no. no, good. That's it's good. A, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> All right, we're back in Ontario, California, and this fight is over. Masio Crowder went to his corner, and he was he kept going back to his eye. I believe it was a jab that caught him in the eye. You can see right there. Referee Rudy Barrigan went over to the ringside position. Joe Goosen had a discussion, and he basically said, I don't think this guy is fit to continue, and they stopped this fight. 
Yeah, the crowd didn't like it at all. You know, they felt he could have continued. You know, you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit in the eye, and uh, it's not going to feel good, but that's part of the game. I don't think he was thumbed as much. I mean, you mentioned it could come from the side no, of the club, it, but it was from a punch. No, you can't thumb a guy really like the old days because the thumbs are attached to the actual right. glove themselves, and there's very little room to open up your thumb and do anything. Yeah, I mean, in a situation like that, you got to suck it up a little bit, and uh, you're going to get thumbed in the eye, and you have to continue. It's, if he was, if he couldn't see, and you know what my coach would say, if I would tell him, oh, I, I can't see out of one eye, he would say, well, use the other eye. <laughs> exactly. I don't, in all seriousness, though, if you're in these like this, if, if you're the corner man, Lennox, do you yeah. let him out there? I don't let him back, uh, back out there. Well, I'm holding his no, eye. but there's things you can do. Look, his eyes are open right there. I mean, that doesn't look real bad, does yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, you it's not eye, even red. You put ice on it. You put use the end swell a little bit. To uh, maybe st uh, staunch any swelling, I think that, that you, it's you only also, a couple rounds. Yeah, you, you also use psychology and say, you know, like I said, you say to him, go out there, use one eye. Well, it's it's part of the overall picture here. It's 37-year-old guys, two and three, overmatched, and Kamakov gets the victory. All right, Brian, let's look at this. Here, there's that jab. There's one jab right to the eye, and okay. Here we go. And here's that left hook coming out of a weave. Bam, right on the eye again. But that's what happens in this game. And we're back. And I'll tell you this, Brian Kenny with Lennox Lewis and Joe Goosen. And we had a guy opt not to continue to fight, but at least this time I'm not getting pelted with beer. That was last night. Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you <laughs> Chavez Jr. That was rough. This time it is Maceo Crowder who opts not to go. Lennox after he took some shots to the eye. Oh, this is the left hook coming. And this is where you can see kind of touched the eye a little bit. As you can see, Crowder's kind of paying attention to the eye with his right hand, showing that he can't see too well. Here's another look at it. Yeah, he had enough here right now. And this is where he, he's in the corner and he's saying to his corner, I can't see, he doesn't want to continue. So there we go. Crowder is done. Kamakov gets the win. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon. Well, fans, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number two. The opponent is unable to continue. He is the winner by way of knockout, and he is still undefeated. Peter Kamakov.